Dawn Baker. And I'm Mike Sela. New at 6, we are learning new information about the suspicious death of a Savannah baby boy. WTOC's investigative anchor Madeline Hunt joins us now from the newsroom. And Madeline, what have you found out? Mike and Don, a newly obtained police report and audio of a dispatch call are giving us a better idea of the timeline leading up to the death of six month old Liam Rye. Upon receiving multiple tips, the WTOC investigates team filed a public records request with Chatham County Police. We received this Chatham County Police incident report today from the county attorney's office in our response to our request. And the report says just before 1130 the morning of September 2nd, a Chatham County police officer responded to a home on Girard Avenue in Savannah. That's where in the report the officer says he quote responded to an unresponsive child. Our team uncovered the dispatch call sent out to first responder radios that day. Take a listen. Chatham 7 Alpha 1 to this call at 4 correction Girard Avenue. Going to be unit number it's in reference to a five month old having breathing issues just turned into a CPR call. We broke the news of this ongoing case that Chatham County Police are now investigating as a possible homicide. That was the same day the county coroner called Rye's death, quote, suspicious. Both agencies confirmed baby Rye died on September 5th. That's three days after this police officer says he found Rye unresponsive. The coroner says Rye passed away at the children's ICU at Memorial Hospital in Savannah, but says the baby's exact cause of death is still unknown. Police say no arrests have been made and no charges have been filed in this case. We'll of course keep you updated as soon as we learn more information. Reporting live in the WTOC newsroom, I'm Madeline Hunt.